Hey, uh, welcome back to another full self-driving videos. Thank you for waiting this long to getting a video from my channel. And I'm also back in my Model Y test line. We are testing the latest and greatest for FSD hardware 3 12.6.4. The car is waiting. I engage it right now, but the car is not going. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna press that acceleration to tell the car, please go. So let's do it. So I press that acceleration. As you can see, the car is proceeding and it is going and we are moving. We are filming. Also, if you're not familiar with me, my name is Anato Mohammed, and I love to film Tesla full self-driving videos in New York. In this video, we're going to test some unprotected left turn, narrow road, unprotected left turn and you know a few other things where the fsd gets confused and makes mistakes so we are creeping right now there is no vehicle from our left side no vehicle on our right side the car proceeded perfectly without any problem so we are moving we're gonna make our right turn to our upcoming traffic light and thank you guys for commenting so many good things on my last videos because i got lost like completely i was about to you know like uh, completely stop making videos there are like so many people commenting over there hey i really enjoyed your video please keep making it so for you guys i'm making videos and i'm back so hopefully i'm gonna keep making videos from now and we can definitely make a right turn on this red light there is no vehicle coming from the left side and we are making this perfectly done till now the car is very confident and the car is not making any mistake which is absolutely great also in my last two videos I tried the new Model Y with, with the FSD 13 and this is the like first time I'm driving like 13 after so long because my cousin has uh, on his Tesla Model 3, but uh, I normally doesn't drive that much of his car, but I like took some, you know, like a, um, a test drive with Tesla and got the Model Y, the new one, and I tried it, I loved it, but definitely FSD 13 makes the same mistake as FSD 12. I just see a big difference between the car can go like back up and also like park by itself when it, re it reach the destination. Other than that, FSD 13 doesn't seem very accurate to me. Hardware 3 with FSD 12 can drive us anywhere without making any mistake. As you can see, the car is not making any mistake. It is driving like without any hesitation, without any problem. Also, I change my car rim or wheel and tire. So if you want a separate video on that, please let me know in the comment and I will make a video on that topic about my, uh, how was the process and how I changed and why I changed the wheel, what wheel I choose and everything about it. So if you want, if you are interested, let me know in the comment, I will definitely make a video on that. So we're going, as you can see, we didn't need to yield here because there is no yield sign. And now we are very close. After seeing those human, our car breaks a little bit, like a little bit of tight braking over there because those people are coming out and it thought like probably they're gonna walk and I need to brake. So we come to our first destination. We're gonna see if FSD is stopped in the middle of the road or it goes into that space. Uh, very good. FSD goes into the MTS space. Perfectly done. I'm gonna change the navigation right now and put our second destination. So FSD video part two. I engage it. Our FSD immediately proceeded without any human interaction this time. When he started the video, we need to press that acceleration to tell the car please go. But the second time we, when we started, we didn't need to do that. The car started immediately turning on the indicator of the left side and then uh, merging into this road uh, from the like parking position. So we are going guys, uh, very good job there. Right now we're gonna face a traffic light in front of us where FSD makes mistake. Uh, it thinks the grass, ga like the gas pricing is also red and green. So sometimes it gets confused with the traffic light red and green with that uh, gas pricing sign with red and green. So we're gonna also observe how FSD handles that situation too. So the gas pricing and the traffic light is coming. It just changed from red to green. 
I really wish that the traffic light was red so that we get a point that we are gonna go or not go, something like that. So you can see the gas pricing, right? So we're gonna make a right turn. The car makes that right turn without any problem. Definitely comes into the other lane. When it makes that right turn, uh, because this lane is very narrow, our car comes and goes to the other lane a little bit um, while making the right turn, which I am not a big fan. If there is a vehicle, that moment would be different probably. But for this one, we definitely saw the car goes into the other lane to make that wide right turn. So we're gonna test some narrow road while previous software version gets mistake, like makes mistakes. So let's do it, guys. Narrow road test number one in New York. I'm using the latest and greatest for hardware three, 12.6.4. We're gonna make a left turn. The car is going. Hopefully it's gonna make it without any hesitation. As you can see, the car make that left turn without hesitation. I didn't touch the steering wheel. Uh, just, just think about it, guys. In probably six months, we're just gonna sleep in our car and the car will take us from point A to point B without any hesitation, headache or anything. Or even like, I'm just doing my editing on the, on the car. Like, I'm just, you know, like doing some laptop stuff and editing my videos on the car. So we, we should just make the right turn. I don't, I really don't know why the navigation is telling us to go straight. So I'm gonna take over and make the right turn by myself and we're gonna see how FSD handles that. So I am making the right turn and then I'm gonna engage. Still it is telling me to go left and then make a right. I'm gonna go straight. And now I'm gonna engage. As you can see, the car is slowing down because it is trying to probably follow the GPS. Now it should just go. That's the wrong thing to do. Yeah, it just got, it just got and it just corrected itself. It come over here, very good job over there. It didn't make the mistake. We can definitely make this right turn. The car should go a little fast. Very good job over there. Immediately make that right turn. And now we are moving without any problem. The car gets a little confused because it was trying to follow the navigation. The navigation takes a slight time to, you know, like change um, the navigation from uh, the first place to the second place. And when it updated, it got a little confused, like, hey, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go straight, or I'm gonna make a right turn, or what I'm gonna do. So that's the thing, the car was getting a little confused over there. So we're gonna make a right turn here, and we're gonna see how FSD handles this uh, typical, or like a little bit critical, unprotected left turn, guys. So unprotected left number one in new york and we are testing the latest and greatest with hardware 3 12.6.4 we're gonna go straight stop on the stop sign look on our left side right side if there is no vehicle we're gonna make the right turn and immediately make a u-turn so let's see how fsd handles this so as you can see there are a few vehicles coming from our left side and there are construction happening on the opposite side so it will be a little tight to make that u-turn so we should definitely proceed. The car takes its time sitting over here for that truck. We could just easily go if we decided a little bit early, but there is now another vehicle after this one. We should just proceed. I'm not gonna touch anything. It should just go straight perfectly. Wait on the behind of this car. Perfectly done. Come over here. And now, as you can see, we don't have space to make a U-turn here, as you can see. Oh my goodness, what you're doing. So it realized that uh, we cannot make a U-turn. So it is just taking a different route, which is a perfect thing to do. It is taking and getting into this driveway. This is interesting, as you can see. This is interesting because it realized because we don't have that much space on that other lane, we can make that U-turn. But what if we just get into this driveway and drive you through this and make you out from the driveway? As you can see, it is doing it. Like, it is absolutely doing it without any issues. So now is the thing, big thing, because there are so many vehicles. You shouldn't proceed, okay? You you can proceed, I think, like, okay. Oopsie, oopsie. So it just got a stock here. It could just easily go from the left side, but or, or from that, that area, but really don't know why it come over here. I have to take over now, and I'm gonna back out a little bit, and then I'm gonna engage it. I'm gonna engage it because I'm gonna see if we. I can, yes, I engage it. And now it has to decide what it's gonna do. I, I just back out a little bit. If FSD 13 was there, it would probably back up by itself, but it couldn't because it's 
Oh, wow, this is great. You see that? That car gave us space and our car just goes around it, like immediately deciding, okay, that lady gave us, gave us a space. Let's just move and roll and it perfectly make that right turn. The very first place, I would definitely ask, why wouldn't you just go from the right angle when deciding and just hesitating and not even um, uh, get that uh, right turn from that uh, driveway? It was doing very good, but and immediately it made that mistake, just stuck behind that um, behind that uh, pole, construction pole, and it just gets stuck over there. So we're gonna do one more time. Let's do it, guys. Unprotected left number two in New York. We are testing the latest and greatest for hardware 3 12.6.4, same as the previous time. We're gonna stop on this stop sign. We're gonna creep and look on our left side. If there is nothing, we're gonna go straight, make a right turn and wait for the other car. And then there is nothing. We're gonna make a U-turn because of the construction. We can't make a U-turn and we can just uh, go around it or a different route. So as you can see, we come over here, we are trying to make a U-turn, we are trying and we can't and we just get stuck. So I'm gonna take over because there are a vehicle coming right now and uh, doesn't make any sense. It, it tried though. I would say tried. If there is no construction, probably it would just do it. And now we are doing the same thing. We're getting into this parking lot and probably gonna try to get out from this space. Let's see how FSD does here again one more time. As you can see, it is coming, it is going, it is um, trying slowly because in parking lot, why you're even trying to park here? You should just go. So now it just gets stuck and now I'm gonna press that acceleration to tell that car please go. So now it is trying and it is doing some weird stuff now. And now I'm gonna press, keep pressing. I'm gonna take over now. And now, oh, that's frustrating guys, right? So I'm gonna engage it one more time right now and see, we'll like, we'll see like how FSD, that cone have been removed by the construction workers. So you should just get out from here and it goes over there. Now, no, 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 no. Yeah, perfect brother perfectly done guys so hopefully you guys got an idea like how fsd handles construction zone if it can't make a u-turn it should have just take us from a different route right it tried and then get, get stuck because on hardware 3 we don't have the capabilities of backing out so we, we can't reverse so that place i have to take responsibility and take over and make the u-turn by myself or like backing out or reversing by myself but the main question is oh my goodness what this guy is doing like unbelievable oh my goodness like did you just see human driving he's just uh, oh my god bro come on come on almost had an accident i would just um, uh, unbelievable unbelievable guys this is so pathetic so i'm gonna end the video here hopefully you got an idea how fsd does on a construction zone with hardware 3 because we don't have the reverse capabilities and that's a problem with us but probably in hardware 4 with reverse capabilities the car would just go backward or reverse it and just get out from the situation but really don't know how fs dude's gonna handle that otherwise I'd, i have that car right and trying in the same situation but let me know in the comment uh, what do you think about it. But I'm going to play a game with you guys. I'm going to tell you a number and I will let, uh, let just comment below the number in the comment section. Now I'll, I'll know that if you watch the video till now because uh, because it will be great. Like I know that you watch the video till now. So the number will be six. So just write down six in the comment section or whatever you want. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you for watching, guys. I love you so much and have a wonderful, wonderful day.